Hi guys, Canva and Figma are two popular visual designing programs, but which one should you be using? Canva is an excellent online graphic design tool that is extremely simple to use. Not only that, but it also includes several templates to assist customers with their graphic design needs. Figma isn't just a photo editing program. It's in fact design software that focuses exclusively on UI UX design. Although Canva can also be used for UI designing, Figma offers tools to make it easier to design prototypes. To help you make an informed decision, I will explain all the main differences between Canva and Figma and will consider 7 criteria to see how those two design tools stack up. We will leave a link below this video in which you can get a free plan for Canva or Figma, so you can also try them out for yourselves to see which one you like better. Risk free. So, for the ease of use, each of these apps comes with clean, easy to follow interfaces. However, the nature of each app doesn't mean you are likely to find one option easier to use than the other. Canva is perfect for beginners and known designers, thanks to its intuitive and user friendly interface. In addition, you can find even more about this in Canva's Learn tab. Figma, on the other hand, has a steep learning curve if you aren't a designer. Or you have never used graphic design tools, you will probably need some time to figure out what each element means and how you can use it. Also, if you need to design something more complex, you would need a tutorial or to do some prior research. The most striking difference when comparing Canva versus Figma is the type of design you can create with them. Canva makes a great spec if you need to create marketing designs for social media, posters, ads, videos, etc. On the other hand, Figma is the tool to go to if you need UX and wireframing designs, user flows, and website mockups. Don't get confused here, you can only create websites or app prototypes with Figma. Figma can only design the appearance of websites or anything else. You can actually build them. For the templates, templates are ideal for a designer looking to save some time on creating commonplace assets. Canva comes with thousands of templates to choose from more than 600,000. They cover everything from social media posts to advertisements, logos, and ebooks. You can instantly customize any template with Canva's drag and drop feature in just a few clicks. However, the number of templates you can use in the free Canva version is limited. Compared to Canva, Figma definitely has a lot less to offer from a template perspective. The app really wants to give its users the freedom to design anything they want from scratch, which means you start with a blank slate. Of course, that's not to say there aren't any templates at all, you can access a handful of sample templates for things like customer journey maps, concepts maps, and mood boards, but there is not a lot to choose from. These templates also give you just the basic structure of whatever you are trying to create with no added visuals to turn any heads. For the collaboration, both apps offer some sort of collaboration and offer it in real time. This means you can work on a project at the same time as your colleagues, whatever they are in the world. However, the first place should go to Figma regarding collaboration. Canva allows you to invite members to work with you on your design via an email or a direct link. This will give your users direct access to edit or simply view your content. You can also tag team members and add comments for them to check out or share specific folders of content with users. Figma also takes collaboration seriously, building it into every stage of the application interface. You can create fully accessible libraries for your entire team and invite as many people as necessary to view and comment on your designs. Any viewer can grab snippets of code and you can export the assets you need to share them with external users in seconds. A great addition to Figma's collaboration efforts is the FigJam, an infinite whiteboard where you and your team can brainstorm, add sticky notes, comments, etc. Now for the features, in their very core, Canva and Figma are different apps, which of course has an effect of the type of features they offer. Canva is more focused on visuals used for marketing purposes, hence it pays more attention to photo editing tools such as automatic resize tool, brand kit tool, content planner, animation and video designs, and more. Figma on the other hand offers more UX-oriented features, 
you can utilize it to start from scratch and benefit more from typical graphic design features. For example, there are drawing tools like pen and curve tools. Also, Figma offers a wide range of shapes such as CSS support for elements, advanced grid system, layer exporting option, and more. Another nice perk that Figma offers is an endless canvas, great for collaboration and unlimited space to develop your projects. Now for the plugins and integrations, both Figma and Canva offer plugins and integrations. To get straight to the point, Canva is nowhere close to Figma in terms of plugins and integration options. Canva has a total of 90 plus integrations and plugins to choose from. Most of them are for social media platforms, photo editing extensions, productivity apps, file hosting services, and email marketing tools. Figma, on the other hand, separates integrations and plugins. Figma has thousands of plugins to choose from, which give you compressive access to various features like font speakers, charts creators, design resources, and much more. However, there are not many integration options available on Figma as compared to plugins. Figma focuses heavily on user testing, collaboration, productivity, and prototyping integrations. Now for the pricing, both Figma and Canva offer a free version of the app and premium packages depending on the functionality you need. Canva has two paid and one free pricing plan. All the basic options are in the free plan, so it's enough for newcomers. The difference between Canva Free and Canva Pro is that Canva Pro offers extra fonts, elements, save options and more, like 1TB cloud storage, 600,000 plus samplets, and the option to add 4 other members to your plan, etc. It costs $13 monthly or $120 yearly to get a discount. The team plan costs $15 monthly for the first 5 users. You can get the yearly plan for $150. The team plan is flexible, so you can add and remove users. You will pay extra if you extend your teams. And by the way guys, depending on the country you live in, you will find the different prices, because these prices vary from country to country due to tax. So go and check it out for yourself. Figma on the contrary has 4 pricing plans. The free plan, you get 3 Figma and 3 Fiction files, unlimited collaborators and unlimited personal files, and access to the mobile app and plugins included. The professional plan, $12 per month per editor, with all the features of the free plan, plus unlimited Figma files, version history, sharing permissions, and team libraries. The organization plan, $45 per month per editor, for everything in the professional plan, plus org wide libraries, centralized file management, private plugins, and more. The enterprise plan, $75 per Figma editor per month with advanced security controls. So choosing between Canva versus Figma depends on your business and your needs. However, Canva is likely to be the choice for you if you are looking for a graphic design tool that doesn't require graphic design experience. It's best for creating simple graphics such as blog banners, social media posts, and so much more with a couple of clicks. Figma is perfect if you are looking for the best design tool for designing UI UX. It's a little more complex, but you can build more compressive design experiences with this tool. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out, and bye bye.